Welcome back everyone. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another scum video. Welcome back to part two. And uh, this one, we're gonna try and get the basics, the first things done when you enter the town, i.e. chest. We need to get gloves to prevent hand abrasions while you're crafting and you're shooting and you're gonna chop down trees or bushes, etc. Um, we need to some clothing. We need to get a blueprint for a chest down. That way we can systematically hit the buildings left and right and you can fill the chest come back and do that and then by the time you've accumulated some more stuff you might want to uh, either move on or you might be lucky enough to find a vehicle and uh, so on so I'm going to move around this way of town we're going to go through some buildings I'm not going to systematically hit the lot I'm just going to show you how we can sort of start off to help prevent any early deaths so remember no sprinting about I'm going to get down here we've got some uh, date trees so always check these not everyone to give them and um, at least this way look there's a puppet just there so we've got to be very careful right remember puppets drop interesting items he looks like he's got gloves on right now just make sure there's no more puppets around the corner it's always worth a little look so search all the puppets, you might get some gloves, you can use their clothes, you can use these to, for rags, whatever, there you go. So we have a pair of gloves, collect your arrows, right into the building menu. This is where your engineering skill will come into play. I'm just going to put down a basic one for now. So there you go, we need a rope, six planks and two nails. So that's the first thing you want to sort of look for now, so you can get this up. And by the time hopefully you can find a backpack if not we can find the means to craft the improvised backpack and the animal skin quiver but the uh, the main ingredient we need is um, we need thread so we can craft one of these so we need to find this here so hopefully a puppet drops it or we can find it in a few buildings early the sooner you find that the quicker you can get the quiver done and then the quicker you can get the um, the improvised backpack done as well so be prepared for puppets everywhere if you can get in quickly and get that headshot off job done the clothes puppet drops you can repair all these clothes but up to 50 percent only um, if you do find sewing kit early you've got some spare and you want to grab those you get some good storage out of that even at 50 percent wear. i saw a bat over here great stuff really need to find this sewing kit there we go we have found some woolly gloves so we'll take those we'll get rid of these because they're at least 63 percent right here we have a small workshop this is always a good place maybe you find a toolbox always worth a look in here found some nails that is what we need close all doors behind you that way if you get one of the rooms like this and there is a puppet laying there um, and you make noise it doesn't come belting out after you and take you out you do get a momentary bit of time there when they stand up to get the headshot in um, but once you've been playing a while you just be winging in and popping these right you get into any melee altercations just be careful you there's no other puppets around you so just take your time step back time it well right, it takes a little longer for skinny because uh, he's got no strength but <laughs> so there you go take your time now uh, just be mindful of puppets lurking around the corners around the alleyways so you keep an eye out for little places like this indicate shops where you might be able to pick up uh, some food and drink now there we go always search the date trees because you'll always find yourself food when you need it all right so we're still looking for that elusive nail let's check the garage over the road and then we have a wheel screwdriver we will definitely 100% take oh Oh, look at that one. Oh, what am I carrying them for? Wow, black and yellow screwdriver. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I've 
got already got a knife so let me drop that to give me the two spaces if we get any bobby pins and that's into the police station i really need these nails now so you can see how important these little items become you got all these workbenches oh look we've got nails there we go right two nails so as soon as you got those your plans need to change straight away get back to the blueprint right, let's check some food we've got potatoes are they going to drop any? There we go. We've got one now. And another one there. Lovely stuff. Alright, so I'm going to make my way back to the chest. And then we're going to get that up and running. Alright, great stuff. There we go. So the nails are in. Let's search this puppy. No dates. You can cut these down. There we go we have all the tree bark rope bam so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to store some of these goodies in here we're going to keep the screwdriver on us let's put the money in there let's put the screwdriver in there oh there we go i'm going to keep that on me and do remember the only thing we're looking for now is a bit of thread so we are quite warm down here so let's take off this shirt and let's take off our top. There we go. Right, so I'm going to continue to hunt for the thread. And uh, I'm going to go and find the um, the water spring just to show you. And just to uh, get that skin, get the uh, water bottle done. But I still need... We got... I still need the thread. I can't make the water bottle without it. I can't make the quiver without it. I can't make the improvised backpack without it. Alright, so I'm going to drink up, get the water deficiency out, have a little rest, and uh, there you go, it's successful. So I've been in the game about 20 minutes. The only thing I haven't found is the thread. Once we get that, we're going to be able to craft the backpack, the quiver, and the improvised water container. So if I can get that done within the next 10 minutes, if I can find a bit of thread, then half an hour from when you get into your first POI, you've got a chest. You've got your weapons or your basic weapons um, your stats are okay you found water there's plenty of food to forage and then it's about um, selecting where you want to go next maybe into um, the police station where we'll go uh, maybe on the next one picking lockers and uh, trying to find some items that then you can take as protection into a POI oh look at that boom right so we've got some thread I've got the needle there we go. Let's go up to the improvised sewing kit. Great stuff. Right, there you go. The water deficiency is gone. So now I can do the backpack. I can do the um, quiver. So let's do that now. Let's chop the puppet. And there we go. So we go on to crafting. If you want to make some more bone needles, you can. There you go, animal skin quiver. Even though it's a human skin. So we'll equip that. And instantaneously it gives us some more room. Now I can hear another puppet outside. What I need to do is we need to do two of those. So let's find two puppets. And we have one skin here. We have another one just here. Right, the chest is down now. I'm going to run and get the chest, bring the chest up here. Right, we've got the chest. I'm going to put the bedroll in there. So when you log out, or when you're absolutely knackered, that will better help you for your exhaustion. Right, so let's go in to... Oh, look, there we go. We can do the improvised water container, but this is the one we want. So two skins, we need two rope, the sewing kit we got, and we need five rags. So I need to make some rope, or you can chop the clothes up from the puppets and make two improvised rope, which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to craft the backpack. Right, we have everything now for the improvised backpack, so let's get that crafted. That's not been bad. Been in this town about half an hour. And we've got together what we need to get and to get the basics done. 
Sweet. So let's equip that. Look at that. Way, way more room. So that I'm going to keep because I'm going to find one more skin and I'm going to make the improvised water container. And I'll probably go back to... Uh, water's good, but I'll probably go back to that um, natural spring and I will fill up the container so we've got water for our journey. All right, so if you're new to the game, I really do hope this has helped you out and helps you find your footing. Like I say, there is admin commands on here you can spawn stuff in but i don't want to get into that yet because that's just going to take away from you picking up the game and actually enjoying it you start spawning everything in and it's going to cause chaos because you're not going to know what's what at the start so they will come later on just get these basics down and uh, you'll actually start enjoying the game piecing things together make your plans and off you go all right take care stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next one ta for now